Have you ever decided to let's play a game that you absolutely despise? I don't know, but I'm doing it right now. Welcome everyone to Let's Play Frogger the Great Quest. Frogger the Great Quest was a game I remember as being one of the very first games I got when I first got a PS2. I remember fondly of sitting down on the couch with my dad, popping this game in, and playing the game with him for about a good one-third of the game. Immediately hated it at that point, and threw it into the back catacombs that is my house of storeroom, and no, do not advance it to the plot- No! Not yet. Let me finish talking game. As I was saying, this is also one of those games where the developers decide to take a really strange turn. I mean, just look at him! Just look at him! He doesn't look anything like the original fucker! Ah, whatever. As much as I'm really wishing not wanting to play this game because of all the bad memories, because it's only been recently that I actually got, well, the game actually somewhat intrigued me as to how very unwell known this game is. I mean, you, you literally have like very few, like videos I've seen so far just cover like the first few levels, not the entire game in itself, but... As an inevitable fate that I, I have owning this game, I feel it is my duty to you people to show you this game in its entirety. Before you ask, no, this will not be a 100 completion run because, quite frankly, what you have to do, the reward for getting 100% completion is pointless and the stuff you get for completing levels 100% is pointless too. So anyways, enough of this banter, let's start Frogger the Great Quest. I'm going by Frogger because I'm too lazy to put my name in. Uh, uh, yes. Alright. How you love, Frogger? Okay, I guess. This can't be the only jambalaya being served, Lumpy. I want to zap new bugs, swim new streams, be frog loose and froggy free, and quit getting needled by that mosquito gang. But that world out there is not just skeeters and gators, no. There's plenty bad gray gray to be had. I know stories make your skin crawl, I guarantee it, with onions on it. <laughs> I remember the time when... Uh-oh. Uh this is important to the plot. So the mean old dragon was running alongside the lake after the princess to roast her up for supper, when all of a sudden, he slipped on this rock that was all frog slimy and stuff. His head hit a rock, and he was killed! Just like that. Did the princess stop running? Yep. She turned around and saw a dragon, dead and all! And there on the rock, Next to its head sat a frog, but she was so happy to see the dead dragon, oh. she picked up the frog and kissed what? it. Poof! The frog turned into a prince. Come out, come out, wherever you are, you little slime bucket. What's the matter, you chicken? No, Hemo. He just tastes like one. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on to your hose and boys. What have we here? <laughs> Get it. Oh, yeah. Come to daddy. So cool. That was a close one, Shaw. Next time, they make us dinner. Ah. Bonjour. Anybody in there? I just have to find me a princess somewhere. Huh? That's it. A wish upon a falling star. I wish I may, I wish I must find a princess before I bust. Frog Joggy Polly Woggy Folk. Someone has called me. I heard a crow. Come on, come on. I don't have all night, you know. What do you want from me, Wartlets? Can you help me find a princess whose kiss will turn me into a prince? <laughs> the frog gets three gifts to help his quest. One, you can see magic. 
This allows you to see the magical things and people in my world. Two, voila! A magic bag! And I don't mean me. <laughs> it may look small, but it can hold just about anything magical. And last but not least, the most important gift, that of protection. Now you cannot die while in pursuit of Prince's hot lips. <laughs> wow! Fairy Frog Mother, I don't know what to say. Well, I'm off, good buddy. When I'm a prince, right by my castle, there will be a first-class elegant Everglade with your name on it. I promise. Bonsoir. Be careful out there. Y'all come back, yeah? And there's your plot, people. Frogger wants to find a princess to be turned into a prince. Originality! What the hell is that? Alright, so... Here we go into... I really, 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 really don't want to do this. The controls in this game are so bad. I'll be talking about the... And showing you... Just now. Although, I will say one thing good about this game. If there's one thing that is actually good about this, it has to be the music. The music in this game is some of the best I've heard in the game at, of this time. So, anyways, here we got Frogger controls as normal, but however, it's hit. He's just controls are bad. I mean, I'm lightly tapping this, and yet, if I move around, Frogger takes like one or two steps before he immediately comes to a stop. Uh, hit X, and you can jump. And here's the topper the best thing ever if you hold down X you jump shorter than you do then just by tapping it or moving around jumping so I don't get it uh, attack is with square you, your main attack is just I kid you not spitting on enemies and at the and at close range and I can't believe these are actually gonna leave my lips you attack enemies by doing Hello, frog food and screw you frog mother I don't care about you Yes, you do frog foo for close range combat. And the hit detection in this game is some of the worst I've ever seen. It's hard to tell if you're actually hitting this. Oh, and also the platforming. Oh, the platforming is one of also some of the worst. How do you mess up platforming in a platformer game? I mean, look at this. You saw that jump right there and how mundane I was at getting hung up on that one tiny little crack. Uh, uh, what's over here? We got the gate. Unfortunately, I cannot open it. Why is this cave here? I don't know. Alright, so if you jump and hold the A button, you're able to glide using the thing that frogs use to croak. I'm not even going to question that. Alright, so let's just head on up. Again, the music in this game, if you do plan on renting this game, although you probably won't be able to rent the game anymore as much as find a local... Uh, oh, here, here's the thing about... Oh yeah, the camera. The camera's also some of the worst I've ever seen. Because it gets hung up on you all the time. Uh, as I was saying, oh... Uh, uh, there we go. Ah, I hate that. Alright, well... Just swim, swim, swim. You're a frog. You're supposed to be good at swimming. Dive, dive. What was the button? Dive. Oh, uh, R2. R2 to dive, and A is to surface in giant catfish. Um, bugs are hidden throughout this game. At uh, bugs are mainly used to replenish your life if you take any damage. There's no way to extend your life, and also this is a game you cannot die. There's no game overs. And, well, I guess I wouldn't say it's a game you can't die, and I mean, you can die in this game. It's, although it's not, actually, no, it's actually somewhat possible to die early on, especially if you, uh, If you're not familiar with the controls, and enemies like to sneak up on you, like this giant fish right here is chasing me after me. Let me get this gold coin. I know I said I'm not going for 100% completion, I'm, but I will be getting uh, what money are yeah! uh, for the fact that I just want to show off what the money does. I will be collecting money if it's right in front of me or it's close by, just to show off the game a bit more. 
but if it's way out of the way and I have to like do some mundane task to get it, I am just going to avoid it at all costs. Uh, can we swing right for the silver coin? Yes, we can. Awesome. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, the money in this game, well, they're spread out so uh, much, and you can get so much at it, you probably get a good reward in the end. But you'd be sadly mistaken. The reward isn't good at all. Well, I, I wouldn't say it's not good. It's okay, I guess. I'll show you, and I will show it off as soon as we are finished with the level, which we are about so. So, let's just head up here, ignore the terrible platforming in this game. You're a frog. How do you mess up a game about a frog and a platformer? Other well, then again, it is the same people who made holding the jump button, which usually makes you jump higher. Jump slide! <laughs> Might as well just grab uh, this stuff. The levels themselves are. N I won't say they're not creative. I mean, sure, but they're mundane and repetitive. I mean, you could literally uh, guess where each level is going to lead us. Like, so far, here we have the tutorial level. If you can guess what the next level is, you get a cookie. Alright. So, let's just head on through here. I might as well just talk about, uh, I was actually going to have a friend join me with this, but she opted out at the last second because she didn't want to suffer through this hellhole with me. <laughs> oh yeah, Forger likes to laugh in these cutscenes. Don't know why, he just does. Alright, so total value, it counts for coins and gems. I don't know why I was going to say joins and gems. Uh, value, they added up in the total value, which is used for the frog shop. Or the frog store, I should uh, correct myself. Now, you might be thinking that the frog store used it by like upgrades like uh, protection, or uh, do more damage, or something that allows you to jump better. Nope! The frog store is used to buy all that hard-earned coins is to buy concept art. I kid you not, all of the hard work you want to go through collecting all the money in this game is 100% is just for concept art. As you can see right here. It does give you a little bio on what you get, so I guess that's good and, and hell, it's actually what you need to do to learn about some of the later um, enemies we'll be fighting in this game. Like, it does give you some tactics against enemies, like, some enemies are slow but do more damage, some are fast but they do less damage, and I will be saving in slot 2 because I don't want to complete slot 1 because you I never do that over my practice files. Anyways, Bog Town. So if you thought Swamp Town and Swamp level again, congratulations! Here's your cookie. And we're pushing on to a bit of the limit. I think I'm going to show off a little bit, and then I think we're going to end it right here. I do not know how much I've been loathing this game. Yeah, we well, usually seek uh, mental help. What the hell? Hmm. Oh well. I must be losing my mind. Ah! Oh, okay, combat. See what I was telling you about combat in this game is one of the worst ever? You cannot tell if you're doing damage to them. Also, in some of the times throughout this, the enemies will kamikaze you and cause you damage even though you've killed them. I... Just... Ah! Again, combat is one, some of the worst. It's hard to pinpoint whether you're actually doing damage, because look, uh, well, okay, bad example, but during close to most things, you do damage to that, but it also feels like, but you're not doing any damage to it at all, if that even makes any sense. Um, might as well head in here, and I, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! 
That, that's another thing. You can get stuck very easy in this game. I don't know what possessed the developers to think th that this was a good idea. All I can think is that this is an unfinished game. Because there's so many bugs, so many glitches, so easy to get stuck in here that... <clears throat> Ow! Ow. As I was saying, it's so easy to get stuck. Combat is literally some of the worst ever. It just feels unfinished. I might as well heal up over here. Wow, that barely did anything. Thank you, Fly, even though you're the main course of frogs, even though frogs eat all forms of insect life. Uh, whatever. Anyways... Uh... Oh, no, we're not supposed to go this way yet. Uh, that's for something important related to how we're supposed to get the hell out of here, but for now, we cannot. So... With this little part of my nightmare completed, next time on Let's Play Frogger the Great Quest, we will not have bad camera angles. Oh no, wait, that's... I forgot I'm talking about this game. Yes, we will. Uh, we will be trying to find said bear to help us get to said princess. See you guys next time. Later and help me!